What does it take to stand out in Overwatch as a tank player? Like back in season one, I, I thought like I was gonna become 18 and then dominate everybody basically. And that didn't really work out. A game where the meta is constantly shifting and there's no guarantees that your favorite hero will be playable at all. <sighs> Natural selection. To survive, you need to be able to stand strong. Let's keep it moving. And to win it all, you have to pick your moments. So you're even gonna chase it after Marvel and the whole hog, a victory dance for Super, oinking his way to victory. Whoever said lightning doesn't strike twice has never met the San Francisco Shock, your 2020 Overwatch League champions. When the game's beta began in 2015, Overwatch pulled players from games of all kinds. But there was one game that had a closer relationship to Overwatch than any other, Team Fortress 2. Valve's quirky class-based shooter had been big in its time, but no other company had succeeded at following that act. At least, not until Overwatch. All right, playtime's over. Get to cover. And Matthew Super Delisi from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania was a fitting representative of this new class of esports athlete. My name is Matthew Delisi, also known as Super. I'm 18 and I play tank for San Francisco Shock. Gaming was anything but new to him, and his competitive experiences and his initial teammates were firmly rooted in TF2. Well, I played um, ESEA for TF2. And everyone I played with on Bird Noises and Hammers and LG, they all were TF2 players. So we just uh, had a lot of um, FPS skill. While former TF2 players might have benefited from the game's similarity to Overwatch, one role in particular stood out as drastically different in the competitive scene, the tank. When your team works on point, nothing is more satisfying in this game than hitting a big slam. It was this new role that Super would ultimately fill. But first, he had a couple of obstacles to overcome. When I started playing Overwatch, I had like the worst computer ever, like literally 24 FPS, like the game's barely running. My computer's overheated. Actually, that's what happened to my first, that's why I had to get a new computer is because my computer overheated. Yeah. Like the GPU literally fried itself yeah. playing Overwatch. Not to mention, he wasn't even old enough to play professionally. So to be able to play on LAN, I think is gonna be um, a big highlight to have every single match. Obviously I can't start day one because gonna be too young, but when I'm eligible to play, I think it's gonna be a blast. His skill from previous games and his superior shot calling marked Super as one of the most promising up and coming players in Overwatch. Frag right now, Dante. Oh, I got oh, shattered. Oh, oh, look at this! Uh, Holy uh, shit, I'm nutty! Hunter's one, Hunter's one. Someone stop me! With Super, he has an excellent read of the game, and it's something that people rally around. Everyone agrees with sort of his leadership. When he has something to say, people follow. And as esports organizations signed on for multi-million dollar contracts to be part of the forthcoming Overwatch League, the San Francisco Shock signed him knowing that he wouldn't be able to start stage one. While we're ineligible to play, we're basically gonna be spectating and kind of have like another anal two analysts slash coach, two people who understand the game and can provide input from a third person point of view, things that the players can't see in game. So I think having that is gonna help. But in April, 2018, Super finally got his chance to make his debut during stage three. You know, it's been a long 20 games of waiting, watching yeah. my team. Uh, obviously the reason I came out here was to play and um, I, I had to wait getting anxious, but finally ready to go out there and hopefully you know, win some games. I think mm. the biggest thing Super will be able to add is possibly the finishing of the chaos time of the San Francisco Shock when push comes to shove. When there have been in desperate situations, their shock calling has fallen apart. That's what he needs to get down with this team because that's been their biggest flaw. And while he initially played more Winston, he ultimately became known best for a different hero, Reinhardt. I have been called. Where many players saw essentially a moving wall, Super found a canvas on which to paint. Where some saw boredom, Super saw opportunity. And as his career continued, he would eventually become known as the best Reinhardt 
in the league. Down on the deck, Super brings down Grimzo as well. Goes for the charge as well. Held oh, by Word. He just pinned him against Gamsu. What in the Lord's name have I just witnessed? But Super's debut in the second half of the 2018 season didn't exactly showcase his true potential. He earned a couple of MVP nods in some series, but the wider picture was bleak. This is such an important moment for the Shock maturity-wise because so often in the first several stages, they seem to grasp defeat from the jaws of victory. They were an anti-clutch team. They just found ways to lose. Now they found ways to win. After the Shock finished ninth during the inaugural season, it was clear some changes were needed. I think it was like an experience thing, kind of maybe a, a learning thing as well. Like back in season one, I, I thought like I was going to become 18 and then dominate everybody basically and that didn't really work out um i mean we did all right in the latter half of the season but it wasn't you know anything that we expected or wanted to be going into the off season the team underwent massive changes bringing in violet rascal and striker for super it was an opportunity to carve out an even bigger spot for himself now surrounded by talent the pressure was on. And Super has been almost, you can map it almost in a direct correlation between how well Super has been playing as an individual and how much more dominant the Shock have been over the course of 2018 into 2019 now. The new look Shock managed to eke out a sixth place seed for the stage one playoffs. But once there, they went all the way to the finals where they lost a heartbreaking 4-3 match to the dominant Vancouver Titans. Before that, even with the drastic roster changes, the expectations might have been middling, but now they were higher than ever, and the shock didn't disappoint in stage two. He has to reveal himself to contest the payload, and he does so just for a brief moment, but no one else is there. It's over! The San Francisco shock completes the golden stage. They do not drop a map, they do not drop a series. And I have to say, we may never see this again in the Overwatch League. It is a true feat to be sure. The Shock were for real, not dropping even a single map during Stage 2. And Super's aggressive and yet calculating Reinhardt play was a big part of the team's success. Four minutes on the clock here for the San Francisco Shock to pick up the second point. Super just gonna throw it out. There's the big shatter. Two kills if they can get this done quick. Shoe hanging on. Barely, but real. You can't say the same for him. And now a golden opportunity for the Shock to get some real progress on the point. This is it, nearing with three and a half minutes Ooh. on the clock. Oof. Follow up. There's the shatter. Wham, bam. Thank you, bam. Get out. It's going to be IS-37 still on the point, though. But that's done. And the Shock, all three. And they didn't stop there. They were one of the league's most dominant teams, reaching the finals of every stage in 2019. But the addition of the roll lock system to Overwatch League for Stage 4 changed how and when Super got to play. The Reinhardt he was known for became scarcer and scarcer due to Orisa's rising popularity. And he mostly sat on the sidelines during the playoffs, as his team's red-hot roster rolled through the rest of the league until it was only the Vancouver Titans standing between them and the Overwatch League Season 2 Finals. And the Shocker playing so aggressively, but Sinatra already has his Meteor Strike in the hole! Oh, it's beautiful! <laughs> you can't answer much more than that, man! Making them pay dearly for every inch of progress, but Tizzy walked straight into that one. There was an amplification matrix, and Architect made short work of the main tank. Slime and Twilight Fair. No better than Sam in Su, while he couldn't even run away from that one, he was frozen stiff. He has to make the same impact on that hero, it's not quite the same thing. Blizzard, Gravitic Flux, everything you could ask for. The Shocker delivering in spades and those hypospheres are bouncing. And so are the Titans' craniums. The Vancouver Titans, such a hyped up team coming from across the ocean. TZ is down already though, they've lost the main tank and Architect is bringing the thunder from the back. It's a rain of bullets and the Titans can't do a thing about it. Only a few seconds left. Sobitsu is removed from the face of the map and Architect is tied to get his hands dirty. Axel throws a blizzard down but it's not enough. Twilight, the last hope for the Titans, steps up. He is felled. Tizzy now gets to the point but Slime is already removed from the fight. The wrecking ball is down and Janu, he can't touch. He is walled off. The door is shut in their face. At age 19, Super was on top of the Overwatch world. He was a league champion and a key member of one of the most exciting rosters 
the game had ever seen. Then, invited to represent his country, he had won the Overwatch World Cup, the first successful international Overwatch campaign in the USA's history. He also represented an important talent that could be key to the Shock's long-term competitive future. But something else was happening at the same time. Super was becoming an incredibly popular personality, both on Twitch and in the rest of the non-Overwatch world. Can I see the trophy? Yeah. Oh, it's a little heavy. You if want you it? You can pick it up. Oh my gosh, this is, oh my gosh. That's like 40 pounds. This is, it, it, yeah, it's it's legit. This is the best trophy I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Super had been streaming since 2017, but with his name on the rise, his stream really took off in late 2019 and early 2020. He had developed a reputation as a joker, someone who kept the mood light despite his commitment to performing in game. So anyone? Grab oh, let's see, let's see. Big shot, big shot. I'm so good, I'm so good. I'm so good. I'm so good at this game. Where's my, where's my, here's shot, here's shot, here's shot. Yeah, I'm, I'm cracked out right now, dude. I, I got one more at the too. He's one, he's actually one shot over there too. Right in shadow here. I'm so and as it turned out, being good at Overwatch was not his only talent. Booba looking good tonight, super. <laughs> Smart. Dude, I feel like I'm about to, I'm like... <clears throat> <laughs> And as his career moved forward, he became the perfect mix of erratic memer and sardonic flag carrier for a game that frankly sometimes forced even its most diehard supporters to shrug their shoulders. Who the f still plays this game anyway? Loads of people. Like, there's like me, and there's like Violet, and... Hey, good job today. Even before his team had secured that 2019 championship, an official league video solidified super status as the prodigy. He is very young, so it almost feels like child prodigy-esque. But could that prodigal son return to the top of the Overwatch League in 2020? And would the meta allow him to pick up the hammer again? Due to the global pandemic, all Overwatch League games went online. And to make things worse, Super's MVP teammate Sinatra left for Valorant in April. I think the thing that like held me was playing for the fans, like in front of people. And then the coronavirus made everything shut down. We had to play online. Definitely killed it for me. But the main melee showed that even without their MVP, the Shock were still the best team on their half of the newly redrawn league map. Do I have any words for Soul? Nah, not really. I kind of just would prefer to let the play do the talking. Yeah, I think Super was forced to stand up there. Maybe he was halted up there, but I, 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 who knows. Anyway, he's a Riptide. Okay, nice! Super catches that one with a fire strike. That could have been nasty. And now look at the shot push forward, and Shatter is good! Super gets three, Fury and Alarm, maybe even four in fact, try and pick themselves back up. But San Francisco, they fight off the Riptire, and then they go up a gear. Philly weren't ready for that change of pace. That's big dynamite as well. Nice shadow <laughs> on the side. That's everybody on their back. Goodbye, Lastro. Goodbye, Dreamer. And Valiant's hopes and dreams of winning this map are crumbling right before them. The Shock threatened a repeat league victory as they qualified for the year's grand finals. But since half the teams had essentially been playing in a league of their own for the year, it wasn't clear how things would shake out. And while Reinhardt had been valuable earlier in the year, the Bruisery meta saw Super on Roadhog, a champion that he made his own, even against his Grand Finals opponents, Soul Dynasty. Draco Ava gonna chase in after Marvel, and the whole hog, a victory dance for Super, oinking his way to victory. Whoever said lightning doesn't strike twice has never met the San Francisco Shock, your 2020 Overwatch League champions. As Overwatch 2 was announced, sat quiet, and then was delayed, the game's future was uncertain. But Super's stream remained the funniest safe haven for the game's faithful, even if he wasn't always playing Overwatch. Oh my, grab him again. <laughs> <laughs> you f***ing loser. Oh my god. Why did Violet say, may I sleep with you? And why did he change his profile picture to me? Hi! 
Okay. Okay. Well. And despite venturing into other games, Super was still known as the Overwatch guy on Twitch. I got you. Nice. Oh. Pepe left. Pepe left. Well, you stomp, boy. I will snap you. You know that. He might not have always kept it as clean as he had to on an Overwatch League stage. You stupid little. Can someone just close the door on me? Stop! Oh, wait, someone explained it before. That's when you, like, oh. pull your penis back and, like, oh. hide it behind your legs, right? Wait, that's when you hide your penis behind your thighs, right? <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? No, I didn't do that. But in a world where so many were stuck inside, Super's weird brand of humor seemed to hit perfectly. But on the Overwatch League stage, 2021 was a different challenge for Super. The Shock lost Ons, Rascal, and Moth. They still had their deep front line from 2020, but confidence in them dropped. Still, as Reinforce pointed out on Plat Chat, of the teams with a 1-1 record at that time, the Shock did have some serious upside heading into the Countdown Cup in June 2021. I'm probably looking out for Shock here, actually, because their versatility. Yes, their initial match was a bit messy against the Dallas Fuel, but overall, it's proven now that they can play a lot of different compositions. Nero can play the Farah, they can play the Reinhardt composition, uh, they can play the Wrecking Ball as well, to an extent. And I like this versatility from them. At the end of the 2021 season, their record was good enough to earn them a shot at play-ins, needing only to beat the Toronto Defiant to move on. Jet plus from uh. Hisha gets nothing, he's also fallen on the Defiant, that was a gambit, it was an aggressive, risky play, and it's blown up in their face. So this has just been a really tough matchup for Toronto. Uh, like, clearly they are a better team uh, than what we've seen today, but do not have the power to beat a team like San Francisco as the Shock are back in the playoffs. A 3-0 sweep here of the Defiant. But unfortunately, things didn't go as planned during the playoffs. The Shock finished fourth after a heartbreaking loss to the Atlanta Reign. After re-signing with the Shock, it's not clear exactly where the future will take Super. As his stream has grown and he's made another appearance on Jimmy Fallon, it wouldn't be hard to see his personality breaking free of the Overwatch League, particularly as the sequel's fate remains uncertain. And while Overwatch has seen big players leave for other games, losing Super would be different. Because whether it's on stage or on stream, Overwatch just wouldn't be the same without him. Thanks for watching. If you want more content like this, hit the sub button and ring the notification bell. For unique bite-sized videos you won't find anywhere else, hit up our Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok.